What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Welcome back to the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. You know I got another banger for you, so kick back, relax, and come take a ride with your boy, man. We got some unfortunate news, y'all, and it really stinks to be even talking about this and making this video right now. One of the star rookies in this rookie class for the WNBA that is completely transcending the sport right now is lost for the year. A rookie that was in the running for rookie of the year that was coming off one of her most efficient games of the year. We are talking about LA Sparks forward Cameron Brink, one of the leading shot blockers in the league so far this year and was well to her way into a just successful and productive rookie year. She's gone, torn ACL, season is done. And we have the update for y'all. We're going to break it down and hear from Cameron Brink as well. But before we get into all that, make sure we hit the subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. And join our memberships. We got that exclusive content coming daily, weekly, whenever you need it. Now, let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. Like we said, Brink was coming off a really good game, 16 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists. Also hit 2 of 4 three-point attempts against the Atlanta Dream before tearing her ACL in the Sparks' most recent game, ending her season, man. Through 14 games, Brink was averaging 7.5 points per game, 5.3 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and 1.1 steals. She was shooting 39.8%. From the field, she was also averaging 2.3 blocks per game, making her one of the most productive and dangerous rim protectors in the league. And it just sucks to see this, to be honest with y'all. Currently, the Sparks are 4-11, and but they have, I think it's safe to say, two home run hits in the draft with Rakia Jackson and Cameron Brink. And it seemed like it was all starting to come together for her, man. I hate injuries like this in general, but to just have your first year in the W is such an exciting time. Derailed by a torn ACL sucks. And it looked bad when it happened, man. We just heard her screaming and they escorted her back to the locker room. So you knew it was bad, man, because Cam Brink is definitely tough. Brink had this to say, you never think it will happen to you, and despite all the hard work, sometimes it does. This is hard to fathom, but I know it will only make me stronger. I will not be derailed, and I will continue to love this life. I'm not defined by basketball, but it is something that I love deeply, and I will work every day to get back to it. It's not goodbye basketball, it's just a see you later. I'm always so thankful for your thoughts and prayers. Hashtag delayed, not denied. I'm glad she's in good spirits, and I know a lot of these rookies have other avenues that they're exploring with the NIL deals with sponsorships, Cam Brink doing some modeling, and it also sucks because she was headed to the Paris Olympics, man. She was going to play for Team USA's national 3v3 team, just won a gold medal this past summer at the World Cup, at the Mary Cup, and she was coming into a lot of momentum and was a huge key piece to that Team USA lineup. So this is a critical loss, not only for the Sparks, but for the country, the national team for Team USA, man. Uh, she's a young player. I have no doubt that she will bounce back and come back stronger. This is really like the first serious injury um, as far as the ACL that we've seen Brink go through. But she's resilient and seems to be in good spirits as well. But it just stinks um, from the basketball standpoint of not being able to see her play the rest of the year and missing out on the Olympics. And, you know, there's no guarantee that you get another crack at that. I have, you know, and it just is it, too. It's because, man, the Sparks definitely are finding their way. Dear Kahambi has been amazing. This team is starting to gel and build chemistry, though, man. And it's just it, Cam Brink has been a big part of that. She started a lot of games. And she's continued to improve every game, man. And as a rookie, you know those reps are so crucial for the development, furthering your career, and elevating from that crucial first year to second year. But she will be in rehab. She will go through the process of just getting better, having to trust her body again, and getting back to doing what she does, playing basketball. So we'll keep y'all updated on the latest and the greatest as far as the Olympics and Cam Brink's recovery. That's a wrap for us. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Holler at me in the comments. Let me know. Love hearing from y'all in the community. Until next time, hey, we out.